Hello and welcome back to my channel guys, I'm your host Nobody and today we're going back to Instruments of Destruction. So on today's episode, I thought we would look at Ballistas on the workshop today. And the first one we're going to look at is one that I actually created. Now I don't actually think it's the best Ballista on the workshop, but I thought it was a valid attempt and I'd like to show you guys this first before we look at something potentially a lot better. So I thought the, uh, the overall look was pretty decent and I did use this image of a Ballista right here for inspiration for my build. Now I did the best I could within the confines of this building system here in this game and I think it turned out pretty okay. Now I did originally have a winch in the back to actually wind this thing back. If we go ahead and press one you can see the wind back right here. You know the game right now uh, doesn't really allow you to build proper winches as these wires and cables will actually mesh through the bar that they are supposed to wrap around. So we went with pistons instead. So the first key that we're going to press obviously was one to wind that back. If we want to reverse that we can press two to you know take the 10 off of the cables here now the uh the first key that we actually are going to be pressing is q that actually anchors this thing into the ground that way we can actually maneuver the head of this thing a little bit more gingerly it's still pretty bouncy to help combat that if we press e we do have some gyros right there and yeah that helps you know stabilize the head of this thing a little bit faster surprisingly enough the aiming laser is actually pretty decent uh as far as the shot distance is concerned at least from this distance so if we go ahead and tap one we can you know build up that strength on the pulleys here and then if we just tap three there we go we let go now it's not very destructive as you can see we actually have to uh reset this every time we want to take a shot and then for this last shot we'll aim down just a little bit just so that we can have a solid hit on this building and we can get a gauge of the destruction that this thing can potentially cause and here we go for our last shot there we go and there we go it's stuck into the building nice and i think this will be a good baseline for the rest of the creations on today's episode all right, up first we have the Realistic Ballista by Esson. Now, I really don't know what to do about this guy, so let's go ahead and spawn him in. We do have a few controls. Uh, let's just start kind of tapping things here. If we hit E, E is a magnet. Okay, all right. Okay, so T actually activates a grabber in the back. Now, let's try to figure out how we can actually arm this thing here. Okay, so the arrow keys actually raise and lower the Ballista. What about Y and H? Y and H. Ah, uh, there we go. Wow. Uh, that's a really cool system. All right, so let's go ahead and respawn this. I think I hit it just a little too hard. So I think we have to hit E first. There we go. Now, if we hit H, it looks like this is a mechanism for actually arming the device. And if we hit Y, there we go. It brings it back. And I think all we have to do is hit T and it lets itself go. And there we go, man. That shot is just completely out of here. All right, and I think I got everything nice and lined up. I had to delete these other shots because they kept colliding and actually causing this creation to lose control a little bit. So if we hit E... And then T. There we go. And that was awfully powerful, man. That was uh, pretty damn destructive. It doesn't look like it went all the way through the building, but I'd say that was a really nice attempt at a ballista. Definitely a lot better than mine. All right, up next, we have the Iron Ballista by its... I can't even say its name. Uh, but we did get a little warning at the beginning of this spawn-in, so I'm kind of curious what that's entailing. Now, the overall look at this thing is looking real menacing. Uh, I love how they use the beams and these little fletch joints right here on this little X catapult style thing going on. The gears at the bottom on the, uh, the pivot point's really nice. I do see some attachers, but I don't necessarily see a button to use. So I guess let's start pushing buttons, I think. So if we do left, we do right. What does this do? Okay, that turns the turret. We can actually see these gears engaging at the bottom here. And uh, yeah, they're looking real smooth. Okay, so what does up and down do? Oh my god! All right, so we can see this thing actually sprayed out, and it looks like it did connect to the ground as well. And I'm assuming we just got to hit E, so let's try that. There we go, E. And there we go. We have a bomb-tipped uh, ballista bolt there, and it took out that entire building as well. So let's go ahead and spawn this in one more time, because I'm awfully curious about how this thing goes. So we got uh, apparently some kind of conflict going on right there, but let's just go ahead and hit that arrow and see what happens. That... Man, that is just so damn cool. And I think all we gotta do is hit E yet again, and we'll see what happens. Oh, the bombs didn't explode. There they go. A little delayed reaction, but, you know, the effect at the end was the same. No more building whatsoever. 
Now, I'm kind of curious about something. Uh, we don't really have a really good means of, you know, aiming this thing. I want to kind of bring it to the side here and see if we can actually kind of shoot it in this back building and see if we can kind of take out more than one building at a time. All right, so this thing did kind of turn pretty slow. It's not the best turning, especially for what I was anticipating. Let's go ahead and arm this thing, and I think we're already pretty lined up for a good shot. So here we go. And we can see it just kind of tumbles, and it kind of landed in the exact same place it did last time. But there we go. We have a secondary explosion from the tip. Uh, we did take down one of the towers, and we took down most of this front building, but not the whole thing this time. All right, up next, we have Scorpion by Arch B. Jello. All right, so first off, I'm kind of interested i don't know if this is actually a ballista but it kind of looked like one to me a little bit oh and there we go it looks a lot more like a ballista and we have oh wow wow it automatically loaded itself i am no good at programming in this game so that is a complete mystery to me how that even works all right so let's see if we do our little arrow that uh oh whoa okay oh that's so neat so I automatically thought if I press W, it would just kind of move around. There must be a sensor that detects, and I think I see it right there. Yeah, it's detecting the tip, and when there's an arrow not there, uh, the automatic loading system kind of takes place. Now I hit W there just to say, oh my god. Wow. Oh, there we go. All right, we can see that it kind of went off the sensor, and yeah, that sensor detected that there was no bolt in its place, and there it goes. It automatically loads. That... Wow, that is, uh, that's really impressive. Uh, so let's see, we have wheels, but it doesn't seem like we can actually move anywhere, so these arrow keys, what do they do? The arrow keys don't seem to be doing anything. I see a random F key, so what does F do as well? And F seems to also do nothing. All right, so WASD really does nothing for this creation. We cannot move. If we hit E, there we go. That's the coolest mechanism I've honestly seen in this game so far. Well, guys, that was a very impressive showing by this creator here. Uh, definitely a lot more complex than meets the eye. And we have the Bullets by Philosopher. All right, so let's see what this thing can do. I do see all these bungees. That's why I added it. I don't know if it really is a catapult or not. So it does have some pretty uh, fast steering here. So let's just start pressing buttons and see what this guy can do. So if we hit E, okay, so we got some drills right off the rip. And if we hit T, okay, something moved. So if we hit R instead, oh, there we go. It is a catapult. That's, uh, that's really impressive. The cables seem to be going completely nuts. Let's see if we can take some of that tension off the cables there. Uh, there we go. That looks pretty nice. So let's go ahead and aim up, and the last key to actually press is F. So what does F do? And it launches the blade. So this is a ballista that actually shoots spinning blades. Uh, very impressive. Let's go ahead and reset here real quick. Let's see if we can actually do a little bit more tension on these cables and see if we can get a better result. So if we hit R, we'll go to full strength, and then we'll hit F. There we go. And that just, man, that's so potent, dude. All right, so we can actually still kind of use the creation. We do have these nice spikes, and it definitely has enough torque and weight to push itself through these buildings as well. All right, guys, so here we are back at the test island here. And I'm thinking, you know, it does have a plenty of power. We do have the ability, to, I think, yeah, we can actually raise the turret here a little bit. So let's go ahead and put some tension on this cable and then fire. There we go. And yes, it reached that building absolutely no problem whatsoever. Uh, it's definitely a very cool concept. Now, I'm kind of curious, what kind of cabling did this guy use? Because those cables were losing their absolute mind. And those are the bungee base cables as well. Wow, very, very impressive. So I'm guessing all these may just be like attachment points within the structure to kind of hold that little position here. So if we do a little tension, we'll just go ahead and release. But yeah, we can see it kind of has a guide rod per se to kind of keep everything level here. And yeah, that's a very, very tight fit within that little uh, chamber back there. Definitely an interesting idea and something I can potentially learn from with this guy. Well, that was a lot more impressive than I thought it would be. Very simple, but very effective. On to the next one. All right, the last one we have is the Repeater Ballista version 1.1 by ArchB. Oh, the same guy. All right, well, then I have extremely high hopes for this creation because that last one honestly was very impressive. All right, so we have a lot slower movement. It seems like every time we uh, start to move, it actually releases the anchor points, but when we stop, it completely just stops us in our tracks. 
Uh, I'm gonna assume that these lasers are purely cosmetic. That's what they seem as, as well as these. So let's go ahead and see what else we can do with this guy. So it doesn't seem like there's a lot of controls. So let's just go ahead and press some buttons. Arrow keys kind of seem like they're just to kind of tilt the uh, ballista back and forth. So that really only leaves E left. So let's go ahead and press that now. All right, well, uh, I think, um, I don't think it's working as intended. Let's go ahead and see this real quick. All right, so we're anchored down at the ground. If we just hold E, okay, holding E, uh, seems to have created a jam. All right, let's aim up just a little bit. Maybe that potentially might help some things out. And if we hit E yet again, all right, well, that doesn't seem to be working as intended. Uh, let me check something out real quick, guys. All right, guys, so I went on to his actual workshop page and to see if there was any more revisions. I saw that this was the 1.1. Maybe there was a 1.2, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So maybe there might be something else I'm missing here. So I went to a new map and I was thinking maybe we could get a better result on a different map. Maybe there was just something up with that map. All right, there we go. We're finally lined up and we're going to give this guy one more shot. And here we go. And yeah, it looks about the same. I don't know what's potentially going wrong. We can see there's a lot of collision going on here with this uh, creation. All right, well, that's a shame. Uh, maybe there just might be something uh, going on that I am not getting with this creation. It's a very attractive creation, and kudos on that last build as well. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's showcase of Ballistas and Instruments of Destruction. If you did enjoy today's episode, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you're new here. And with that, guys, I will see you all in the next one.